Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. It's a bit of a hot one. Eh? Um, a while back, I introduced the concept of a survival bucket. Uh, a lot of folks have survival backpacks or suitcases or parachute bags and so forth. But I mention a bucket, and I mention that for a very specific reason. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through everything I want to talk about in one video. Um, so it might take two. Um, and a, a lot of you guys are going to, you know, true survivalists. And, and by true survivalists, I, I mean you all go out in the woods regularly and just you and a knife and... Um, you're able to survive. You're able to get everything you need. For most people, they're not quite as ready as you are. Um, and then once again, there, there are people who, you know, if their electricity goes out for five minutes, they begin uh, getting a little freaky deaky, especially if they can't text or page. So anyway, this, this video is just to kind of help your average person along should, oh God, I got to get in the car and I got to leave right now. Um, I try to keep my cars uh, over a half a tank of gas, generally speaking. Normally one of them is full. And because of the generators and so forth, I normally keep some spare gas around. But if I had a bug out of here, I'm not all that far from Indian Point in Westchester as the crow flies. I think I'm about 50 miles, give or take a little bit. So if, for some reason I had to bug out and head toward Pennsylvania, I'd like to make that on a tank of gas and the truck can make it on a tank of gas even with an all-terrain vehicle in the back plus whatever else I needed to load in there. Um, and by the way, for me to get to Pennsylvania, I would not head toward Route 84 because that's driving me closer to the Hudson. That's closer, driving me closer to uh, Indian Point. I would probably go up and around Albany and take the long way around. So, I, I mean, just one thing. If Indian Point was starting to go snap, crackle, and pop, and I had to get out of here, and I had to get out of here quick, you, you know, you got to be thinking about where you're going. So, this is the f survival bucket. And just quickly, as you're, you, you know, trying to survive, what do you need? And you need air. You don't have air. It's a matter of minutes before you're in trouble. But also from a physical point of view, it could take you seconds to months to die. And by that, I mean, if you're out in the middle of the desert, it's 120 degrees, you can't cover yourself with anything, how long are you going to last? Even with water, how long are you going to last? Or if you're someplace and it's 20 below zero, and even though you're wearing a jacket and, and boots and all that kind of stuff, how long are you going to last? Or if you're in a driving rain storm and maybe it's 35 degrees but you get yourself soaking wet how long are you going to last or if you, you know you're about to get hit by a train and you're not paying attention how long are you going to last so always be thinking about you need air and keep in mind physically what's going on with you no matter what, you don't want to get wet, you don't want to fall down an embankment, you don't want to jump in front of a train, you don't want to go near somebody who's be act, re or behaving crazy, you know, you kind of want to blend into the background and, you know, get yourself in a safe place. Um, other than that, if with water, even if you don't have any, even if you're in a fairly bad situation, you can normally go a day or days. And without food, you can normally go a week or weeks. So that's the basics. No matter what, no matter where you are, and believe it or not, if, if you, just with a little common sense, there's a few things you really should carry on you all the time. One of these type things, this says Snap-on on it. I think that's only by name. Um, and, you know, it's got a blade and a ruler and a Phillips head screwdriver and pliers and something that could cut wire and so forth. Um, I, I personally think you should always have one of these on you. 
flashlight, real LED flashlight, one that has some capability. Um, I mean, you can see that's pretty bright. Tape. Um, this is just electrical tape, but if you had something heavier than that, it would be better yet. Uh, some kind of radio that you could kind of keep in touch with things. And you could even go further with the weather band. With your, if, once again, it depends where you are and what you're running away from. Normally, though, if uh, Indian Point's melting, melting down, I'm pretty sure they'll go on the, um, on the weather band and start warning you and so forth. And I also recommend earphones. And why do I recommend earphones? Typically, if you're using earphones, you use less battery. Typically, if you're using earphones, it's a little more discreet. Having a hat isn't a bad idea either. Um, and just a comment. So, this is the kind of stuff that, you know, really wouldn't hurt to have in your pocket all, all the time. And the more of it you have, the better. Let's get down to the bucket. And why did I dis decide on a bucket of all things? And let me show you that exactly. I'm just going to take a bunch of stuff out of here and put it aside. A lot of the stuff I got, I got right at the dollar store. But the reason why I recommend the bucket is because you see that right there. And... I, I'm going to give you a little selfie action. I'm sitting, right? Sitting right on the bucket. Right? Nice and comfortable, sitting on the bucket. If you find yourself in a, in a lot of situations, if you can just kind of sit down for a few minutes, it makes life better. Right? You don't want to sit down on something wet if you're... Um, waiting on a line you know if you're worried about being trampled don't sit down that doesn't help but if you're waiting on an organized line the ability to sit down is much better notice I put this piece of wood and I slid it out of the bucket before I sat down um, this is why it's good to try out your stuff right 200 pounds worth of Harvey's ass goes through a this is the Home Depot version bucket that goes right through. So you really want to try your stuff. I cut the piece of wood so that it slides down right in there. And, um, y you know, it's available. I mean, if you need a little bit of kindling, you could kind of whittle it off of there for starting a fire. Right. So, um... This is also handy. The top of the bucket is handy because if you're kind of preparing, you know, some food, you caught yourself that that squirrel, rabbit, or chipmunk, right? You got a nice clean spot to do something with right here. I threw wipes in, right? Um, all those things just make life a little bit more comfortable, right? get back to the beginning let's get back to where we were water um, you work your way down in here a little bit and I threw six bottles of water in there how long will that get you by believe it or not you should drink all six of these in a day um, but if you know you're in a situation you could probably you know stretch them over you know two three days really have to get out to four um, so that's first of all secondly I wanted to put in some food of relative high density these are honey roasted nuts they are a little salty um, which well not huge salty but um, that'll also help you keep some water in your body. So, but you can you can kind of have it's 160 calories per ounce, and there's seven and a half ounces in here. I mean, these will help you last for a while. The nice thing about nuts, also, you can eat them slowly. You can kind of eat them one at a time, pour a little out, right? 
uh, put a pour a capful out and you know spend your time eating them while you're sitting on your bucket listening to your radio <laughs> relaxing okay uh, other stuff I mean obviously you always want to bring tape you want to have matches right um, along with the matches I included these are six candles. They go four and a half hours each. So if you go from candle to candle to candle, theoretically you're supposed to go 27 hours. Um, tin foil. Tin foil's nice. You can make a base for your candles with. Um, anything like that. And also, um, I couldn't put bacon. <laughs> in here because it would kind of get nasty after a period of time but I did manage to get bacon in my beans this is also available at the dollar store if you take a look at the date it goes all the way out to uh, 2019 uh, so he, here you have baked beans by the way after you eat all your beans save the um, the uh, the can right um, socks why do you want to bring socks well you know if you're going to be walking for a while you want to keep your feet clean you want to keep your feet dry right you want to make sure that all of that is kept proper the other thing about socks um you could also um before you wear them though if you're desperate enough you'll wear them and then but you can use them to filter water i prefer white socks that way you can see what you're taking out of the water and so forth healthy choice. Might as well throw in a second can. I already told you about the water. Um, you need a can opener, right? Can don't do you any good if you don't have a can opener. Uh, survival blanket. You could be sitting on the can. You can have that over you to reflect the heat, right? And then I had... Um, I also brought... Where did I bury it? Hmm. I must have left it inside. I had another tarp, so theoretically you could put the survival blanket over you. And then put the tarp over you. It was a cheap, it was just a small cheap tarp. Um, that also helped you keep warm. If you got to go out in the woods, you got to signal somebody, right? Or see how bad you look today. Uh, tie wraps. Tie wraps never ever hurt. They're kind of like masking tape or duct tape. Always, always helpful. Right. I threw a spare flashlight in here. Okay. Some extra string that easily fits. I threw a spare knife in here. Um, this you have seven large trash bags here. Let's say your feet get wet and you got to kind of dry them out. So you got your candles, you got your wood, you got all that other kind of stuff. Well, you take off your shoes, right? You clean up your feet, you dry your feet. It's just a rag, right? You clean and dry your feet. Then if you kind of Put them in one of these plastic bags, both feet, and pull it up a ways. You got the entire bottom of half of your body covered. I mean, leave the uh, bag open so that, um, you know, you don't steam it up in there and get, get your feet wet with condensation. But just picture it. You got a fresh pair of socks on, right? You got your feet in a garbage bag. You got yourself wrapped up with the heated blanket. Maybe you have a candle going hopefully it's not too windy so as you got the candle going right you could be hunched over it staying nice and warm all good stuff right you see the water um they had this nail polish remover it was a dollar um i included this you see warning extremely flammable liquid and vapors might ignite if let's say you're in a situation you got to get a fire going right so you whittle a little bit of this into a pile and you grab your uh, your little sign or 
some pieces of paper from your Sudoku or your logic books, depending on like what you like to play with, right? And you make yourself a little pile and you put a little bit of this on there and you touch a lit match to it, it'll light right up, it'll get burning. And now you can work your way to having a fire. From a fire, you can dry your feet, you could get warm, you could get dry, you could get better. Here's the spare batteries for the spare flashlight, spoon, and a pen. <coughs> if you find yourself in a FEMA situation where you're kind of dragged off and you're sitting someplace and you're bored as heck, rather than watch your fellow man bother each other, you can play Sudoku or you can play Logic. And as a matter of fact, because you got two friends, you could give your friend a pen and let them spend some quality time. I also included stuff like uh, hard candy, just something to amuse yourself, some extra rope, this is 50 feet. Um, this is an airplane blanket, right? Um, once again, the reflective blanket. This is 40 count of wipes. Depending on how long you're out in the woods, or even if you're in a, um, a situation um, where you're in an arena or something like that. It's always nice to keep your hands and feet and face and butt clean, right? The cleaner you are, typically the more comfortable you are. To that end, I threw in, also threw in a set of gloves. I talked about the pens. What else do I have in here? I think I hit most of it. Oh, this little box, I mentioned the garbage bags are in here. I brought, um, these are just a cheap set of sunglasses. I got them oversized. That way you can put them on your re over the top of your regular glasses. Should you wear regular glasses? Um, UV protection and just, just, um, you might need them. Somebody else might need them for a dollar. I just figured they were good. I also included... Uh, this was a dollar toothbrush and toothpaste, um, just just to keep yourself in a little better shape. So my discussion started with the, uh, and I already lost my little card of um, trying to stay alive for um, a few hours or days should there there be a problem now depending on you once again where you live that kind of depends on what your problem could be for me the only thing that would really make me have to run away from my house um, obviously if the air goes bad I got a problem because I ain't running fast enough and far enough to get to air again um, so, and chances are my cars aren't going to run. So unless the air is marginally bad, as in, you know, an atomic type problem, um, you know, and chances are that's the reason why I would have to go. Indian Point uh, blew up. Um, water. I have enough water for myself for several days. If it's my wife and I, we could get by a day or two on the water we have. Even from a food point of view. You open up this can of beans, right? Oh, I need a pot. I can't make beans without a pot. That's what you got the tin foil for. You make yourself a little pot out of the tin foil. You get one of those little candles, and you start warming up the bottom of the tin foil. Um, use your spoon, and you got yourself some nice warm beans a little bit of a t at a time. Probably wouldn't have been a bad thing to include rubber bands, though I have the tape. If you don't finish all the beans in one shot, obviously you want to be careful about food poisoning, but you could just put foil over the top, tape it on, and you're good. This video is almost 20 minutes long, so I have to end it now. Um, some people say I want to put guns and ammo and all that other kind of stuff. I personally think that kind of stuff should be on your person. I don't think you put that in a bucket. I always view um, guns, especially um, 
pistol type stuff. I always view that as as it should be on you, and nobody should know you have it unless they are a friend and you're showing it to them and they're showing you their pistol. Or um, the only time somebody should really see it other than them is just before they hear it. Um, I just... I'm just a big be- I'm a big believer in concealed carry, um, but it's it's like your your underwear, right? Briefs or boxers. The only person who should know that is somebody who's very close to you. I just think a gun is a personal item, and you should you should keep it that way. So there's no reason to put a gun or ammo in there. That should be on your body along with some of this other stuff you know get yourself they have survival vests you can stuff all that stuff in the inner pocket of your jacket i mean in your jeans right back pocket front pocket the other front pocket back pocket you you know and then you got your wallet and cell phone if you're taking them with you All right, folks, let me know what you think. Um, I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your heads up, and please get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now, folks.